looking for on an inexpensive, affordable, yet dependable rifle, that when you pull the trigger it will go off, here it is. This is the Savage Model 64. This particular one is a 64F, meaning it has the synthetic stock, and there's many variations of this rifle. But uh, it weighs 5 pounds, the barrel is 20 inches, and the total length of the thing is 40. It is a blowback rifle, meaning it's self-loading or semi-automatic. It has adjustable notched rear sights, as you can see there, and a beaded front post sight, as you can see there. It has dovetail mounts, as you can see here, for easy installation of any standard scope. It is a 10 round magazine, that's right, 10 rounds. Let me see if I can get this thing out here. It's kind of difficult to do with one hand, especially after I greased it up. Yeah. Okay, I had a little bit of trouble there with one hand, but uh, this is the magazine. You engage it by pushing this little knob forward, and it, you can just slide the magazine right out. 10 round magazine, very well built metal and this thing is thick not heavy but it's thick uh, it has a free floating barrel as you can see here not in contact with the stock it is very similar to other savage rifles that I've seen particularly one that I own that I will show you now uh, my brother's mark 3 I'm not really sure you pronounce that but mark 3 uh, 30 out 6 Savage rifle, and I'll show you that now and do a comparison here for you of the two rifles. So here's the two Savage rifles. This one right here is a 30 out 6. As you can see, it is very similar in design. It has the same markings. Like you can see there. You can see there. And it also has a free floating barrel on both rifles. I mean, this practically, this 22 right here is practically the same rifle except in 22 long rifle as the 30 6 you see here. It really is. There are only a few differences. Uh, this 30 6 does not have iron sights. This does, but anyways, uh, yeah, that's the comparison between these two Savage rifles. And they're really not too different. Another really neat thing about this gun is that this butt plate, when you pop it off, to uh, make this thing lighter, they made this stock here hollow. Now, you should be able to see how much space is in there. That goes the whole way back down to this part of the gun right there. This whole this whole uh, slot right here is hollow. You can put a knife in here, a hook, fishing line, matches, food, etc. Just all sorts of awesome stuff for survival. The trigger on this rifle is almost two stage. As you can see there. Not activating the trigger, just like I said, almost a two stage trigger. It's just releasing some of the tension and then once you get to there it's just a light little tap of the trigger and it sets it off so I actually really like that I like this trigger more than the 1022 trigger I have a 1022 and uh, yeah so comparatively I think that this trigger is better anyways uh, that is gonna pretty much wrap up the review and just overall specs of the rifle Got my review poncho out, debut of it, and I'm hoping to use this thing more. Uh, awesome little poncho. Anyways, uh, okay, have a good day, guys.